From being called a traitor to being accused of arrogance, people have several reasons to hate golfer Cameron Smith. Let's check out some of the top reasons why he's hated so much, starting with the fact that he plays the ball from the wrong side. Now, this could be interpreted in a lot of different ways, but when you look at the whole situation as a hater, you'll think all things bad about the player. Some fans of the player thought this could have been an honest mistake, while others thought that this was deliberate, that he just wanted some sort of extra advantage. Well, if you're still clueless as to what I'm talking about, I'm talking about how he was penalized at the St. Jude Championship. He had been doing pretty well so far, and his fans had really high hopes for him. But who knew it was all going to go downhill just because of this one mistake? Basically, what happened was that it was announced by the PGA Tour that Smith was playing the ball from the wrong place, which ended up getting him a two stroke penalty. Not only did this bring his score down from 11 to 9, it completely changed how everyone thought the game was going to go. Oh. Has the ability to hide a multitude of... Uh, yeah, there was a little gap up there. I had to hit like a medium flight draw. Um... We all thought that he was going to finish at least in the top five positions, but at the end of the day, after the penalty, he tied for 13th. Now, haters thought that he was trying to get an unfair advantage by doing this and gave him hate for that, but fans weren't pleased with him either. Here's why they were mad at him. Well, not all of his fans were fuming at the player for this, but a good handful were seen on social media talking about how disappointed and angry they were at the Australian golfer. And Honestly, who could blame them? They had a pretty good reason for it. The main reason they were mad at him was him being careless. Fans thought that he just made a mistake by playing the ball from the wrong place, but this mistake cost him a lot. First his points in the tournament, and then ultimately his position. And as you all know, Cameron himself might not have been that pressed about not finishing in one of the top positions as his fans were. According to them, Cameron isn't a player from whom they could have expected such a careless mistake. So you could say their hate comes from a place of love. Some other fans, which are rarer than a Pokemon to find at this time, supported him and said that everyone makes mistakes. It's okay if he made one too. Well, that might have been a mistake, sure, but what he said about Patrick Reed definitely wasn't. And that's just another reason why people hate him. 2020, I understand. Um... You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to go back to where it's at. Here's what he said. Okay, I know some of you are going to try and defend him, but seeing how he was called out for trying to cheat by some people at the tournament I just talked about by playing the ball from the wrong place, I don't think he should have been so harsh towards Reed. And even if we don't look at the context, he was just plain rude. There's a line and he crossed it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me tell you all about it. So, you see, back in 20. 2019, Patrick Reed was caught cheating. Whether it was something he did intentionally or not, that's a debate for another. But the point is that he was caught on camera, pushing a mound of sand behind the ball before swinging. Now, when he was called out for it, he said that his intentions were clear, and he never really meant to cheat. His excuse? Well, apparently, the camera angle didn't favor him. I know, that sounds like a stupid excuse. It does to all all of us. But apparently Smith took it personally for some reason. He said that if someone makes a mistake once, that's understandable, but you can't just go around giving the worst reasons for why you did it. All it's going to do is just further prove that your intentions weren't as clear as you say they were. But that's not all he said. Here's what else he said. He called Reed's reason and called it inexcusable. I mean, we all agree with what you said, Smith, but geez, there's a proper way to get your point across without sounding so harsh. Yeah, um, yeah, had a couple of uh, good rest weeks, I guess, uh, back home in Jacksonville. Uh Not to mention, it reflects badly on your professionalism, but Smith apparently didn't care, because while talking about the whole thing, he also added and said that he had no sympathy for cheaters. Felt as though I played some pretty good golf on, on my front nine. Um, 
Jesus, Smith, tone it down a notch. We're not even sure if he was actually intentionally cheating or if it was just a one-time mistake. And not to mention that Smith himself mentioned in that very statement that Reed has never been rude or harsh to the Australian. So that just makes people hate him even more. Now, that's not the only reason why people hate him so much. Another reason why he gets so much hate is because he left PGA. That start um, where you want to get off to a pretty hot start. Uh, yeah, so it was... Now, this reason is pretty recent, and it's pretty valid too if you ask me. Although to very few people, anyone that points out this reason is just being immature. You pick your side. But even in the tournament he was recently at, fans seemed to be pretty mad about his departure from PGA. Why? Well, because some fans think that he's being a traitor to the PGA. He's one of the best golfers in the world as of now, and whatever side he goes to, he'd benefit it. Let it be the live or the PGA. Um, not particularly. I think, yes, it was a business decision as well, but... Um and yeah, he's leaving the PGA for Liv, which is a whole other reason why people hate him, but I'll talk about that in a bit. We've seen this a lot in the sports world, players being called traitors and being called disloyal to either their teams or their promotions or whatsoever. And that's why it's a pretty understandable thing for fans to do. Fans have called him a bunch of names, like telling him he got sold out or saying that he only plays for money, which brings me to the next reason in this video of why people hate him so much. He plays for money. Okay, so this might be one of the more illogical reasons on the list, but stick around and I promise it makes more sense. I know what most of you might be thinking. All players play for money, but relating to the previous reason, this shouldn't come at the cost of disloyalty, right? The reason why fans said that he was sold was because Liv, the league he's leaving the PGA for, is allegedly paying him a lot more. And honestly, why wouldn't they? He's literally number two in the world rankings, so it makes sense. But even if him leaving the PGA wasn't the issue, it sure is an issue that Liv is problematic. Now, even if we excuse the fact that Smith plays solely for money, we can't excuse the fact that he's leaving the PGA for a league like Liv, which is oh so controversial. And I mean the whole drama about how Liv is contributing to Saudi Arabia's sports washing agenda and the other countless problematic things about the league. And many golfers agree with that. Why else do you think Liv isn't popular yet? But with Cameron Smith leaving the PGA to join the Liv, I think that might be changing very soon. And that was all about why people hate golfer Cameron Smith so much.